and so we are back. So we beat, we beat, we went, we, we went, uh, two out of two, two out of four for Yu-Gi-Oh! So, hey, that's a 50% success rate. I don't really care enough to talk to the rest of these about the Mongol village we're visiting, so let's get in here and go. Not really super interested in hearing about what everyone has to see here, but hey, the Swords, Swords Drunk Barry, oh man, must be going right past where Reen is from. Oh god, oh jeez. Are we there yet? The Ministry of Railways has wished to thank all passengers for their patronage. The Special Express Line is bound for Rower. Our next stop is Rower, the terminus of this express line. Please ensure you have all your belongings with you when disembarking the train. Oh boy. Man, can't believe the rich kids never went to... Actually, no, Emma's not a rich kid, shit. I was just gonna say, can't believe the rich kid never went to, never went to the industrial capital. Goddamn. Feels like the whole city's one big mass of iron. Not like, not like the literal one-horse town you come from, huh, guys? What are those cone-shaped towers in the distance? Those are orbital generators for the industrial plants. There are tons of large factories in the cities that need all those... Jesus. So they just got, like, big nuclear power plants just hanging out outside the fucking town, man. Alright, then. If they were saying to myself, it'd be hard for his magic city like this. God, we're gonna get in here. We're gonna go, like, straight steampunk. Everything up to this point has been, like, pseudo-steampunk, and now we're going, like, nah, straight diesel punk now, fuckers. In we go. Zoom. Oh, it's finally made it to Rower. We transferred to a freight line to reach the North Highlands. There'll be a freight train leave from platform four, we need to board. Staircase to the left. Man, I, I sure hope no bullshit happens to prevent us from going there. Like, there's no reason to make this something we actually have to walk to unless some bullshit's gonna go down. Come to think, it's already past noon. Perhaps we should purchase some lunches for the rest of our journey. We have another four hours, we need to eat something for- Yeah, and I highly doubt the freight train is gonna have fucking room service. So highly unlikely a freight train be equipped with vending machines and other comforts. Oh, there won't be any need for that. Yeah, Sharon! No way. Sharon? <laughs> Sharon sensed you needed lunch. She just teleported into your fucking vicinity. How did you get here before us? Ah, uh, the power of my love for you allows me to do the impossible, my lady. You are already fed. Nani! And as you'll see, I've prepared packed lunches for all of you that far surpass this morning's offerings. I do hope you'll enjoy them. Um, that's, thanks. Oh my god, that's fucking great. Really appreciate you going to all the trouble to make these for us. How actually did she get it? Does she have, like just have the ability to just sure. fucking teleport? Like That's straight a, up, dude. I'm really curious how you got here before us. Magic! Haha! <laughs> it seems that the Reinford family's maid enjoys a little amusement at the expense of her employer. I imagine you transferred to an airship in the capital. Ah, of course. Why didn't I think of that? So why do we gotta go on dinky ass trains if there's fucking why are we not taking an airship to the dumb Mongol village? They'd worship us as gods if we appeared like you can that. Cut the time from Heimdall to Ruhr in half if you travel by airship, I think. <laughs> you got me. I took advantage of the opportunity to borrow the airship's kitchen so I could make your lunches as well. I mean, seeing as her family probably owns the fucking airship, I mean, I imagine the Reinford maid would probably be able to do that. Hand over the kitchen. They're quite fresh, so take a moment to savor the taste. <laughs> Well, thank you. We really do appreciate all you're doing. Like, why we gotta ride on a dinky-ass fucking freight train when there's airships? Honestly, I knew you had to be up to something. You're not planning on coming all the way to the North Highlands with us now, Oh, are you? please, please let her do it. I'd love to, but unfortunately, I have some other business I must attend to. Homegirl gotta go commit a war crime on behalf of her employer. I may not be able to return to Trista for a while, either. Other business? Sharon will be assisting me with my work. 
아. 나 I don't want to say she has mommy energy. But I can think of several people that would want her to step on them. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. Mother? Hello, Elisa. Ah, oh, you all must be members of Class 7. Like, straight- why does she got a dump truck ass? Like, straight up! Holy shit, she's got a Karen haircut but a dump truck ass. What the fuck? Actually, no, that's not a Karen. I'm Elisa's mother. That's not a Karen haircut. It looks like a Karen haircut from the from the right side, but now once you see a full go around, yeah, nah. Also, the chairman of the Reinford group. It's a pleasure to meet you. The, the pleasure is ours. I'm Reen. Reen Schwarzer. Juices is in the back, being like, hmm. I wonder how, I wonder how much I could pay her to have her step on me. Hmm. Pleased to meet you. My name is Emma Milstein. Gaius Warzel. Glad to make your acquaintance. Yusis Alborea. A pleasure. I'm glad you're all managing to get along with my obstinate daughter. <laughs> Even at least his mom says that she's a cunt. Oh god, that's I great. I wish I stay a while, but unfortunately I have work that can't wait. Come along, Sharon. As you wish, Madam Chairman. What? Seriously? You show up like this and that's all you have to say? Oh my god, yes. Even Elisa's parents hate her. It's great. It's always work with you, isn't it? Always. Every time. You probably didn't even notice I left home until I was already gone. Now it's just, hello Elisa, and that's it? That's all you deserve. My lady. I did get the impression her relationship with her mother wasn't all sunshine and gumdrops. Mm. Like, imagine if, Elise, imagine if Elise's mom just went like, Oh, it's okay, dude. She slips her, like, a $300 bill. Yeah, go buy yourself some happiness. Seems there's a lot of friction between them. You can live your life however you see fit. I have no intention of forcing the Reinford group on you. In fact, you're already written out of the will. Enjoy being poor. Even if you decide to follow a certain someone's path, and cast aside oh. It's your choice to make. Oh, okay, so that's either her. She's either got a brother that's dis, that's a big disappointment, or she has it, or her dad's a sack of shit. I hope it's her dad. To keep myself informed of the general goings on in your I hope her dad is like some fucking deadbeat hippie asshole. In the monthly reports I receive from the academy. What? I knew Sharon would relay back in the academy's the been spying on her. <laughs> but reports from the academy itself? Your mom owns the academy, you dumb bitch. Oh, you must not have known. In addition to my other responsibilities, I also sit on the academy's board of directors. Does everybody in class 7 have a relative on the fucking board? Like, does Gai is, like, Gaius's fucking tribal elder on the board? He's sitting there, like, me smoke him peace pipe and pass it over to fucking Elise's mom? Like, fucking Christ. <laughs> like, Juicis's brother is on the board. Elise's mom is on the board. What, you mean to tell me the fucking Reen's dad is on the board or something? Fucking Christ. Oh. Just like Rufus, it does appear that way. I'd certainly deem the chairman of the Reinford Group a canny choice as a member of the board. Go, go, nepotism. Bam, 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 bam. The Reinford Group is heavily involved in the development of the Orbal staff, as well as your Arcus. I must say, I'm quite pleased with the reports I've received on your usage of both. I'm looking forward to seeing the results of this month's field study as well. Do give me some good reading, won't you? Uh, oh, read, okay. Okay, I was gonna say that, I feel like that was a translation error, but no, that's, that does work grammatically. Please excuse that's us, fine. my lady. Take care during the rest of your journey. <sighs> Bitch! You all right? No, she just felt like squatting like a slab for a second there, you know? Chiki Briki of Damke.
This is the most fucking... What the fuck? This is the most baller fucking freight train I've ever seen. Like, it looks no different than the passenger train. Here I was thinking they'd be sitting on crates and shit. Oh, boy. Her mom is the final boss. I can't wait. Imagine if imagine if her mom wasn't on the board of directors until Elisa Elisa signed up for the school and the mom immediately just walked into the school and went, I'm on the board now. And they couldn't say no because she would just hit people with bags of money. <laughs> yeah, should have transfer you should have transferred to a school not in Erebonia. Like like I don't know what the geopolitics are, but like if she'd gone to a school that was in a different country. Her mom wouldn't have been able to do anything, and she should have known that. Go to, like, we're right now we're in, like, fantasy Nazi Germany, right? Fucking just go to, like, fantasy England or something. Uh, it's complicated. She seems, like, she seems like she's only interested in her work, but then she'll suddenly start meddling in my life. She says, just do what I want, but it always turns out wherever I go, she's there ahead of me, just like today. It's almost as if you're extremely predictable, Elisa. Their bank account my grandfather gave me to cover my academy expenses hasn't taken a dip since my first day at Thor's. <laughs> so she's independently wealthy because of her inheritance, and her mom is STILL paying into the trust fund. I don't know, Elisa. I'm saying maybe you should, like, who cares if your mom is decent? I I I sorry, who cares if your mom is, like, indifferent to your existence? At the very least, she cares enough to ensure that you'll never go hungry and that you have everything paid for. Even if she doesn't love you, she cares for you, and I feel like that's a valid difference. Like, I feel like, I feel like Elisa is honestly in the wrong here. I don't know, Chief. Like, like, it's better than having a, a parent that loves you but doesn't care. You know, like, it's better than the opposite. Leslie will be grateful that parents display that much interest. At least your mother spared the time- Yeah! See? Like, Juicis- Juicis has the opposite, and it's awful! His dad cares, yes, but he doesn't love him at all. Like, Juicis' dad cares about Juicis, but only because if Juicis succeeds, he succeeds. If Juicis fails, he can cut him off and fucking get rid of him. He doesn't love him at all. Meanwhile, at least his mom, doesn't outwardly love her, but cares in- but, like... Oh, jeez. Uh, uh, wait, hang on. My, I'm getting my shit mixed up. You get what I mean. You get what I mean. At least she showed the slightest trace of interest in you. Forget it. You know, like, Juices is dead, does not give a fuck about Juices. Beyond how Juices can benefit him. Like... Meanwhile, fuck, ugh, whatever. I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting my shit all fucky wucky and confused. You know what I mean. We just entered a tunnel. First of many, now we're going through the mountains. Anyway, how about we dig into those lunches? Sounds like she went out of her way to repair them. Fucking Elisa opens hers. Like, why is mine just a big pile of white powder? Oh wait, she gave me my mom's lunch. Oh shit. These are so hard because you had to make do with the airship's kitchen. With the sh Fuck, she's such a like seriously. She's all like about like oh I want to be independent and all this. Blah, 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 blah. But like at the same time, she's still just a spoiled rich kid. Wow, you're going to the Highlands on the Academy Field Study? Oh shit. God, can I get- can I fucking actually record for once without my fucking, like, phone ringing? Like, I swear to god, dude. Uh, it sounds like your robotic soldiers are doing your shit! It was- it always seems quite different from most other military games in that regard, though. So, it was pretty neat to see you all just up in your uniforms. They look pretty sharp on you. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so chat... 
Yeah, so chat, chat has it right, yeah. L Irina's care is shown through her actions, not her words. Her attitude's more like, I won't meddle, but I'm looking after you. Exactly. Meanwhile, like... Meanwhile, Juicis' dad is the opposite. He does nothing but meddle in Juicis' life. But, like... Okay, my phone keeps going off, I swear to god. Like, Ju like Juicis' dad, like, he does nothing but meddle, but he does it to his, to his, uh... Detriment. Even in the Academy, Gaius always stands out because of his height. He towers over the second years. Fucking... Nah. Gaius is... Gaius is just clearly from a race of giants. Yeah, so Gaius... Oh yeah, Gaius has like a shit ton of siblings, right? A younger brother and two younger sisters, to be exact. Oh hey, he's the oldest, and he's also a goddamn giant. They're a little on the shy side, but I hope you'll get along with them. Can't you? Yeah, Lisa seems like she'll get along with them perfectly, because she's short. You look through the window, it really feels like we're getting close to the highlands. Meanwhile, the conductor just standing there awkwardly, like... Man, seeing you kids rushing off on some adventure kinda makes me jealous! Anyway, we're about halfway through the Isengard range now. We should reach Zender Gate in two hours or so, so take this time to relax. And once we get past the Zender Gate, all hands on deck, because we might get attacked by the fucking rebels. The mountain people. You, did you meet him back on the back in the spring when you only way to Trista? Made the same trip back then too. We had plenty of time to kill, so he told me how about the Erebonian culture. So wait, so this so this one guy fucking just rides this train back and forth like each like like what is the chances he'd get the same fucking conductor each time? What the fuck? There's a lot of people I'm thankful to help me come this far. But most of all, I'm thankful to the winds and the goddess. Oh god, he's a f oh god, oh fuck, he's a religious nut. Oh shit. End of the line, motherfuckers. Hey, that looks like... So is this even a train station, or is it just like where the rails end? Ah, you've arrived! Plan to meet you again, Lieutenant General. Likewise, it's been months since I last saw you. It seems like surreal to see you standing there in a military uniform. The first time I've ever seen the Thor's ensemble in red. The color of they use for my class, Class 7. Looks like he's pretty high up in the Imperial Army. He's the Lieutenant in charge of the Zender Gate. Okay, so. so Reen knows him. Seems like your classmates are an interesting bunch, as I heard. I'm Zex Vander, commanding officer of the Imperial Army's 3rd Armored Division. Pleased to finally meet you. Okay, who is this guy then? One-Eyed Zex! So you're the one of the guardians of the Arner family. F of course fucking Juicis and Reen are just like big military nerds like, Oh yo, it's Mr. One-Eyed! They like break out their fucking Yu-Gi-Oh cards like, Oh man. Fucking I got this guy, he's ultra rare. Six stars. Seems some of you already know of me. Guardian of the Arner family. The Vanders are a celebrated military family responsible for the protection of the Imperial family. And one-eyed Zex Vander is said to be one of the Imperial Army's finest generals. They say the Vander and Arside schools of swordsmanship are the two most renowned schools in the Arabonia. So, oh man, so this guy is like... So this guy is like, like the opposite school of Laura then. Right? Like, so like, because Laura was the other one with the famous swordsman lineage, right? So like, damn. He's just a military man, hardly deserving of quite that level of praise. I'd love to hear about all of you and your excursion to the Highlands, but we don't have time. Set out as soon as possible, we want to reach the settlement by nightfall. So, is like, is there, is there like gonna be a wagon waiting for them, or...? Why well, ask the attention to arrange transportation? Like, they gonna take us on a horse, or we're gonna get to go in a car? That's the, that's the real question. Fucking Jesus Christ. It looks like like Hyrule Field up in this bitch. Mm -hmm. 
Get on the horses, idiots! The Highlands are way too fast to cover in any reasonable length of time on foot. It'd be fine. You're a member of the Riding Club, and Rain and Lisa both have riding experience. I uh, live back at home, so there should be a case like not making any trick jumps. Oh no. I can't believe Emma needs to ride, bitch. No, they made the two girls go together, so it'd be less lewd. These are all top quality horses raised here in the Highlands. At a good clip, you'll be able to reach the settlement in under an hour. Before I forget, I'm sure guys won't have much need of this, but if needs rest, you should take a map of the Highlands. Wow, such a high level of detail. Would, is, would you really call this a high level of detail? So... It really is. I feel like I'm on with the wind, indeed. But if you didn't go too fast, that would be great. So what's the betting that we're actually sure we're not gonna get to ride the horses properly? No, the horses are gonna riding. work as a... Fuming with envy if they could see us the, the horses are gonna be used as a fucking, uh, fast travel system. I'll bet. Like, that's my bet. <laughs> anyway, my home settlement is due northeast of here. Hopefully we'll be able to reach it before sundown. Man, right. can you see how hard they're fucking Z fighting on these horses? Now they really... Oh, thank fuck, I actually get to ride the horse. Why couldn't I ride the motorcycle? Yeah! Yeah! So, northeast. Oh! So, which way do we go? Place so fast, it's probably easy to lose your head in the direction. Uh. Send your gates. Triangular Rock. That's the Imperial Watchtower. And then your home is that way. Y fucking. I don't need you to. Mmm, shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! All you had to say was, Go towards the mountains, that's where my house is. Like, that's all you had to say. For fuck's sake! Yeah. Uh, like, okay. The sun's almost down. We're almost at the settlement. Let's keep up the pace, guys. Like, that is actually, like, my... Such a big fucking pet peeve of mine. Just... Why say many word when small word just as good? <laughs> like I seriously, dude. It, it like it actually like like shut the fuck up. I like you could go. Okay, this triangular rock is the centerpiece of the uh, is the centerpiece of the Highlands. The the watchtower is off to the east. My home is off. To, sorry, watchtower is off to the west. Xander Gate is to the south. My home is off to the east. That's all you had to say. I don't need to hear a fucking ten minute long spiel about each fucking area. I don't care. Oh, Jesus. Like, you need to make me care. Don't talk at me. Make it something I want to learn about. Oh my god, dude. Like, like seriously, this game is a really bad issue of, like... Uh, like, this game has a really big issue of, hey, INFO DUMP! And it's like, I don't care. Make me care. Like, I, and I think I've said this before in a previous episode, like, it is, is this game's biggest crippling problem, is that it assumes you care. When I don't. And, like, like, you can't just say, oh, I'm sure you've played, I'm sure you've played, like, every other Trails of game, right? Right? Like, no. You never assume that. Hi. I got you a nice tall glass of chill the fuck out juice. I really hope that came across on the microphone. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, let me let me drink my chill the fuck out juice.
Now we can go greet the elder. Bro! Imagine if they were taller than Gaius. You finally came back! You came back from the white man's wars! Uh, Lily and Shida. Good to see you, Toma. Okay, why does only one of them have a normal name? Glad you made it back safe. Glad to see you, bruh. Bruh. They really seem to love him. But she was really a little brother, sister of my own. Oh, jeez. Oh, hey, are these people you wrote about in your letters? They are indeed the illustrious, industrious Class 7. It's nice to meet you. I'm Brer. What? 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 Toma, Sheeta, and Lily. I'm bruh. What? What? What's? What's the? What was the bruh for? I'm Elise. Is lovely to meet. Is Is Toma hiding something? Ah, uh, yes, the elder. Dad, mom, mom. Wow, Gaius, you're a fucking liar. You're way taller than your dad. Pleasure to meet you finally all. I'm Gaius' mother, Fatma. Man. Man, they... Huh. Either she was a really fat baby or her parents were expecting her to get, like, real plump. His mom? But you look so young. Oh, yeah, it turns out Gaius' people have children when they're 12. Oh, okay, apparently from the apparently it's a translation error. It's supposed to be I'm brother's brother Toma. Alright, hooray for J Japan. Battery will get you everywhere. Okay, this is Father Father Lachen Wurzel. Very glad to meet my son's friends and schoolmates. Pleasure's all ours. Prepare to place for all of you to stay while you're our guests. There's much to discuss, so you should drop your belongings there first. It will soon be sundown. Come to my home and we'll share our evening meal. Fucking, nah, I'm waiting, I'm waiting for that to be the actual lore. Fucking, like, Gaius' people, the women have kids when they're 12. It's just, it doesn't, it, uh, is it? No, it doesn't look it. How'd you get it? Tastes so good. Human sacrifice. We season the pheasant meat with herbs and rock salt, wrap it, and cook it. It's made for the taste of us Highlanders, so I wasn't sure if your Erebonians would like it. All I can say is I'll be walking second sip. Ixnay on the seconds there, there, my dude. These these people could be barely scraping by. You don't know. Those are kebabs. We stick some lamb meat on a shakur and grill, grill it. <laughs> All right. Nord cuisine is effective at easing fatigue. It's important when you travel as much as we do. Try some of this tea. It's laced with fucking amphetamines. The land of Nord is nothing if is nothing if not a free country. I've no doubt your time will make a very unique experience, though not without inconveniences here and there. Still, these highlands have plenty of history with your own homeland. Are you referring to the story of Emperor Dragles? I've been learning in class about how during the War of the Lions, he first started gathering his army here in Nord. Tales of Emperor Dragles' exploits are passed down here in Nord, too. After the war ended, he became the Emperor of Erebonia and swore eternal friendship with the people of Nord. That friendship is held strong to this day, and I pray it will continue far into the future. Ah, oh, boy. Man, I can't wait to see if like the Nords get treated like fucking second-class citizens. That'd be fun. Basically, the Calvert Republic has been creeping into the southeastern highlands. They've been trying to cultivate good relations with the people there. The Republic's forays into the highlands have certainly created tension. I am super waiting for, like, the fucking random encounters in this thing not go not to be monsters, but just be fucking other human beings. But periodically and economically, relations between the two are only growing worse. Like, similar in conflict that led to the incident in Crossbell, and an outgrowth of the... Ongoing conflict between pro Calvardian and pro Erbonian forces in their governments. 
Yeah, Nord isn't important. Got it. That's all you had to say. Next time, we'll pass the Nord and East to Sediment as well. Service is my spit. Cool. Try to be back at the Sediment around noon. Give you the remaining tasks after a midday meal. Talk to your... Okay. Okay, so southwestern area of the map is where all of our tasks are gonna be. Then I imagine, like, after we've done those, we'll get other tasks in the northern section, right? I know you girls probably would have preferred separate rooms, but this is what we got! Are we gentlemen? I'm not sure. Oh, he's gonna stay with his family. He's quite the fortunate man. So the same thing while we're eating dinner. He's got those adorable siblings, his parents really care about him. And I can see where Gaius gets his common level-headed personality. I mean, I don't think he was that common level-headed when he was fucking spitting hot fire at fucking Chad earlier. Holy shit. Part of a caring family, growing up side by side with nature like this, it's like he couldn't have turned out any other way. Anyway, sounds like we've got an agonizingly early wake-up call coming our way. We should get some sleeps. Oh boy, alright. Sleepy time. Noir, uh, hey, fun fact for, uh, when we're actually going, uh, wait until I actually, you know, actually get into the gist of things, you know, before you, before you put it in, alright? Alright. Oh, the watch I'm gonna say that, now he's gonna leave it, she's gonna leave it in, oh jeez, oh fuck, ah!